Hey guys, the Gentles back here today again with another future card body fight deck profile. But before we get into that, uh, I would like just I would like to just announce that uh, I've reached two hundred subs. So woohoo! All right, so two hundred subs. I've got this uh, wizard deck profile for you guys. It's a personally one of my favorite decks because uh, you get to counterplay multiple decks. That's like the main thing, and because you can see your opponent rage, so that's another thing. So let's get on with the deck profile itself. So of course, Magic World Wizards deck. So our bunny monster is Chain Magic Master Link. It's a card from the Golden Body Pack. When you cast a spell for this turn, this card gets power 2k and defense 2k. It only activates one per once per turn, and he has 4k power, two criticals, and 4k defense. So it has uh, 2k lesser defense than, uh, or 2k lesser stats uh, than average Magic World size 2 monsters. However, it makes it up with a chance to be more awesome because when it gains, it gains a total of 4k stats. So it makes up for the 2k loss and grants another 2k, if you get what I mean. So basically, it's so it starts out as below average and it becomes above average. So that's about it. So that's our bunny monster because it's shiny. Alright, so for the size 2 monsters, we run two copies of Barrier Master Shadow Flash. So it's not uh this deck is not a Mary Sue build because that card that deck doesn't give enough uh rage to your opponent. So we want more rage. So so of course if you want to rage your opponents, you have to start off with good defense. So of course we run Barrier Master Shadow Flash. It's a basically it's a nullify, but it acts as a monster. So call it the first time and you attack with it. The next turn, when you are being attacked, you can just destroy him and nullify one of the attacks. So so it acts as uh, additional nullifies for this deck. And we run four copies of Buddy Monster, Chain Magic Master Link. So I'll go through the combos of this deck uh, at the end of the video like after going through every single card so stay tuned all right so four copies I already explained the effects so it's really good to combo all right so next another uh, golden body pack card uh, magic power researcher Ren Kogasaki so it's also a wizard of course all the cards in my deck are wizards all right so when you cast a spell for this turn this card uh, this card gets 1 crit, so it only has uh, a 1k deficit, but it has a potential of getting 1 critical. That's awesome, actually. So, because Magic World has a lack of uh, 3 critical monsters, because, I mean, uh, their monsters are already weak, so if they bump it to 3 crit, uh, they would be like, no, no stats at all. I mean, yeah, it's a 3 crit, helps to push for damage to your opponent. Uh, I like this card. And next, alright, enough of shiny stuff. Let's get on with some normal stuff. Alright, you haven't seen the best part of the deck yet. Okay, so two total of the unseen hands. So another wizard, uh, 2k power, 1 critical, 3k defense. However, counter, act, uh, energy press during an attack on your opponent's turn. Pay 2 gauge, notify the attack if it's not a link attack. So it acts as your Solomon shield for 2 gauge, but uh, basically it's a monster on the field. So you get unlimited Solomon shields with this guy on the field. That's pretty good. Alright, so every deck needs its draw power, except for Dragon Ball, because Dragon Ball is freaking OP. I mean, my Dragon Ball decks uh, seldom, had any, seldom have any problems, even though the lack of draw power exists. So, 4 copies of Magician of Glass, Bill Glassart. So Glass Miracle, when this card deals damage to your opponent, you may pay 1 gauge if you do draw a card. So you can uh, call 3 of them and link attack your opponent or whatever. So you can draw a ton of cards. Yeah, so it's the main draw power of the deck. So uh, it will be like a high threat target for your opponent. And it has 2 crit, so you can uh, beta up the nullifies as well. So 4 copies for the draw. And of course, for more intense rage value, uh, we run. Oh, uh, I haven't talked about it, but this deck is a control deck. 
All right, so we run the best friends. All right, so uh, four copies of the uh, Night of Darkness and four copies of the Night of Light. So basically, I don't know, but they're in the Suzuha's deck. Alright, so I'll just go through both of them at the same time. So four copies of each. So one light, one darkness. So one uh blitz straw. I can't say it. Alright, basically Magic Knight of Light, he has 3k power, 1 critical, and 4k defense. So if Magic Knight of Darkness Dunko Height is on your field, this card gets 3k power and 3k defense. So basically it's a 6k power, 1 critical and 7k defense. 7k defense. So you get to block a lot of things. Like, uh, I don't know, Omni Knock Drum. So, 7k defense is actually a magic number, it's higher than 6k. Yeah, even Halberd Dragon can't hit this. Alright, enough of that. Okay, so 7k defense, 6k power. 6k power hits a lot of things, like uh, Jackknife. Alright, so next, Magic Knight of Darkness. So, it has similar skill, Stuck Stuck Shao, 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 whatever, Stuck Chow. Shroud. Alright, if Magic Knight of Light Leech is on your field, this card gets 3k defense and 3k power. So it has uh, basically they have uh, reverse set. So when buffed up, it's 7k power, 6k defense. So 7k power helps you hit things like uh, Yami Ghetto, stuff like that. So all the strong size 3 monsters, you can probably hit it with uh, Leech. No, Dunkle Hide, I'm sorry. So 4 copies each. So of course the spells in the deck are really good as well. So spells like Quick Summon. Alright, so that's it for the monsters. For weapons we play uh three Gunrod Birch Stein. So it's the most basic magical weapon. Pay one gauge, rest this card, deal one damage to your opponent. So basically the one damage is well, it's not insignificant, but I mean it stacks up really quickly. So it starts as 1 damage and then slowly over the turns the damage will rack up and you will kill your opponent really quickly with this. Especially when in control decks you stall the game uh, for a very long time. Okay, so 3 items only. I mean it's magic world, you don't run a lot of items unlike dragon world or danger world. Or dungeon world in fact. Alright, 3 copies of you the man. So this card is a Dragon Energy clone, choose a wizard in battle, and for this battle give it 3k power and 3k defense and counter attack. So basically it works with your high defense monster, so you just buff your monster and uh, basically your opponent can't get through, and you get to destroy his monster as well. So speaking of which, uh, cards that give counter attack, we have 4 copies of Quick Summon. So of course, uh, Quick Summon, as its name suggests, uh, summons cards, so you may only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn. Call a monster from your hand by paying its call cost, and for this battle give it counter attack, and change the target of the attack to that monster. So let's say you have a really squishy uh, monster with like uh, 1k defense, for example, we'll just put it in the back, okay. For example, you have a 1k defense Vilglassa, so he decides to attack you with his uh, 1k power monster. So you can cast Quick Summon and summon a card from your hand which has higher defense like Dunko Hide with 3k defense and you can easily block it. So it combos really well with the uh, Light and Darkness Brothers or friends whatever you call them. So basically uh, they see one harmless Dunko Hide with 4 3k defense they they be like uh, opponents be like oh it's pretty easy to get rid of him he only has 3k defense. So when he attacks him, you cast Quick Summon, and then you summon a Dunko, a Lich from your hand. So basically, and the attack change to Lich. So uh, basically, the original monster which was attacking Dunko Hide would become, uh, it gets, the, targets, the target gets changed to Lich. So in the end, it ends up attacking a monster with uh, 6k power, 7k defense, because of the fact that they buff each other when they are both present. So really good combo synergy. Alright, so next, that's for the uh, defense part. So of course for the rage part, I mean this part have, this part gives plenty of rage to your opponent. So next part, moving on, 4 copies of Epic Fail. I mean Epic Fail is a card that works well with Dragon Wizards. 
but it doesn't work exclusively well with Drago Wizard. So, I mean, it works with it works as a okay. So let me just read out the effects first. So, you may only cast this card if a size two or less monster in your opponent's field is attacking alone. So counter if there is a monster with Drago Wizard in its card name on the field. Put the attacking monster in your opponent's cage. If you do not have a monster Drago Wizard on its in its name in, on your card field, return that attacking monster to your opponent's hand. So, if you have a dragon wi a Drago Wizard, it becomes a Holy Moly. If you play Magic World, you would know what Holy Moly is. So basically, it's a spell that uh, does not have counter, but it moves, uh, it puts a size 2 or less monster from your opponent's field into... Uh, oh no, it puts a size 2 or less monster from its owner's field into its owner's cage. So you can put it, you can use it on your own monster as well. However, this is only for uh, attacking monsters from your opponent. So if you do not have a Dragon Wizard, basically it acts as a uh, magical goodbye for a size two or less monster. I mean, magical goodbye works with works for a size two or less monster also. So it's basically for your defense. So four copies and four copies of Oops. Pay two gauge, return a monster item or spell to it to on the field to its owner's hand. So. Yeah, basically you can use it as a substitute for epic fail if you ran out of epic fail and of course when you're gonna die uh, let's say he's gonna finish you off with uh, something like uh, I don't know a weapon so you can use this because it works on items so you can return the item to his hand and the attack basically gets nullified because uh, the attack does not happen when the weapon is not there anymore and of course, it works with it works uh, to return any monster. So let's say he calls a big size three monster with a big call cost. You pay two gauge, you return it to his hand. Yeah, there you have it, rage. So of course, every deck we need our own nullify cards. So four copies of Solomon Shield, and of course we have the total of the unseen hands. So basically, our extra Solomon Shields. And of course, Magical Goodbye, a uh, staple of Magic World deck to return a uh, size 2 or less monster on the field to its owner's hand. So basically, you use it when your opponent uses his monster to attack you and you return it to his hand. And two copies of Kosher. Kosher is a wizard only card. You may only cast this card if you have two or more wizards on the field. Uh, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw a card. So basically, it's a gauge excel with cycle of effects. So in case you don't know what is gauge excel, basically increases your gauge and cycle means uh, uh allows you to draw. So uh, draw and cycle is a different mechanic because basically draw it allows you to draw more cards than you actually spend. So basically, you are spending one card kosher. To get another card, so if this is from your deck, so you use kosher and you draw a card. So you use one card but you gain a card. So that's cycle because you didn't gain any cards. But if you use draw like a uh, nice one, you pay one gauge and you spend a card. Let's say this nice one, spend a card, nice one, and you draw two cards. Uh, that's draw. So you get a net plus out of it. I mean, not not to say that kosher doesn't give you a plus. It, it gives you a plus in terms of gauge, but whatever. Alright, lastly, two copies of Be Gone. Pay two gauge, nullify a call. Nullify the call of a size two or less monster on your opponent's field. Basically, your opponent uh, calls an OP monster like Fifth Omni Dragon Lock Drum. Use this. Pay two gauge, nullify the call. So, read the uh, bracketed portion. The nullified card does not enter the field. Effects from the card do not resolve, and the card goes to the drop zone. So, it works extremely well. Let me reiterate that. Extremely well with. Uh, soul Guard monsters. So you nullify the call, the Soul Guard doesn't proc, but the call cost is already paid. Yeah, that's it. So I mean, this deck doesn't run any nice ones because uh, that's just too many cards. Because we have Will Glassard to deal with the draw power already. So of course, things to stay tuned to my channel. I mean, that's, that's it for the deck profile. So the combos would be Alright, I'll show you the first combo with the body monster. So let's say we have our link in the center. Can this camera please focus? So we have our link in the center. So link works really well with uh, you the man. Basically the dragon energy spell. 
So your opponent attacks Link as a 4k defense monster and you use you the man and it gives 3k defense, 3k power. And of course Link's effect uh, resolves so he gets 2k power, 2k defense. It says once per turn, it doesn't say... Uh, and it says when you cast a spell for this turn, it gains 2k power, 2k defense. So it works well with uh, counter spells like this because it will surprise your opponent with extra power and defense. So the power, uh, extra power and defense, the buffed up uh, power of Link would be like 9k, 2 crit, 9k. So that's really awesome. So of course it works with... Uh, so other cards like the, the Light and Darkness combo, which I have already talked about. And of course, Oops works as a spell nullify as well. So basically you can Link attack your opponent. And of course, you can oops the nullify spell. Let's say he casts Green Dragon Shield. You oops it, and it returns to his hand. So the ruling of body fight states that, uh, in response to a counter, you can uh, during your attack, for example. So you attack. So in response to a counter, let's say he uses a counter spell. So in response to a counter, which is from you again, uh, you may only use one more counter, which is oops. And of course, the chain stops there. Yeah. So basically what it does is basically you return his spell card and he can't do anything else. So the only thing he can do to uh, stop further damage to him would be to reduce the damage because the attacking step and the damage taking step is different. So I mean if he wants to spend a green dragon shield and after that spend a gold dragon shield I'm fine with that. Alright so this deck focuses on controlling the board. And of course, you can return those things which you can't control yet back to his hand. So that's pretty sick if you were to ask me. It's one of my favorite decks. Of course, for the rage value, everyone would like to see our opponent rage. So that's about it. So stay tuned to my channel for more body fight uh, deck profiles. So I got a couple of decks with uh, a couple of decks with me now. I got Dark Hero deck and uh, Witch deck. So okay, I'll just briefly show you the witch deck here it's, it's actually complete I've just I haven't done a deck profile on it so it features the new witch and the old witch of course they work they both work uh, synergistically with each other and I got a black dragon deck so of course black dragon it's a really old deck from way back in BT04 yeah I mean Nonetheless, I still liked it. Uh, I mean, I never got a chance to build it, but now I found a chance to build it. Like, uh, many of my friends or traders, they got the cards, and I'm like, alright, I'll just build this deck which I always wanted, but I didn't get a chance to. And I think I got a Wild WoW Dragon budget deck. I mean, it's just made of commons, but it's pretty strong. And of course, I got uh, Dungeon Knights for you guys. So, stay tuned to my channel for all those deck profiles. So. See you in the next video. Goodbye.